these are probably hard to get. That's a song guy, too. How are you missing it? Right at the base of the right. See, you can go on the back of the First up to the left of those are Bongo. Oh Bongo are known as the ghosts of the forest because they are so rarely seen. And their horns are tilted backwards, so they're running to the direction that they get tangled up in those horns. Over on the hill to the right is an unknown living relative of the giraffe. They're very solitary creatures, often found by themselves like that. It's not enough for all good sign tables are around. But I do see some little faces poking up over to the right. Just by those two logs, there are two hippos in the water. And there's going to be some more to the left as well. This is called a bloat. They can weigh up to 5,000 and 500 pounds, but only eat about 80 to 90 pounds of food a day, which is not a lot for the body size. They also have very large teeth. You can see they get a pinkish coloration. They nest in groups of 20 up to 500 birds, which is called. It has like a root system. They only have leaves one season out of the year and can live to be 2,000 years maintained by the animals that live out here. Giraffe after like tree trimmers. They can get any lower hanging leaves that they can reach or trees rip off branches. They eat the bark, but that lets the sunlight and help the grass grow. The angel will come through and blow that grass down. It's very well balanced. And over to the right, these are Ancoli cattle. Laying in the shade are sable antelope. They are the emblem of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve because they are so fiercely protective. And that's what we need to do. You can see the rest of the tower up ahead as well. Now, wildebeest and Afrikaans does mean wild beast, but they're also known as new. It's about G and U. And that makes the sound that they make. It's kind of cows move a lot lower. And baby, we'll have a little baby giraffe in there too. And these are all Maasai giraffe. You can tell because there's spots of almost a lacy pattern to them, but there are nine different species of giraffe. And you may be thinking, why well, does a giraffe's tongue need to be sunburned proof? Well, they do eat for about 20. Elephants are the largest animal in the world, but they do have very sensitive skin, and they can get sunburned just like we can. So they use their trunks to pick up dirt, mud, clay, whatever they can find really. And they toss two fingertip-like projections at the end to help them feel around and pick up smaller items. Their trunks smell like a fire. Because we are, of course, in Africa. But another way you can tell is by looking at the shape of their ears. They're kind of shaped like the continent of Africa itself. And by flapping those ears, they can cool off by about 15 degrees. Very cool. More smiles can do that. The eggs have hatched, and the gray ones in the island, those are baby flamingos. And yeah, they're actually pretty gray in color when they're hatched. Not all that white or pink. It takes them about a year to get that pink color, which they get from their diet of brine shrimp, which is high in beta carotene. Now, white rhinos are a lot more social than their cousin, the black rhino, usually found in a big group called the Crash. It's a pretty appropriate name because they're not great eyesight. But they do have really great hearing. That's why I see them moving their ears around a lot. They can hear all around them. There's some zebras over there tonight. Obviously, though. Zebra stripes are unique to that zebra. It's not like a fingerprint is to us. And as sweet and docile as they seem, their kicks can break a lion's jaw. They're pretty good. It's a 5,000 pound mark. These three over here to the left are probably females. A little bit smaller. Maybe around 4,000 pounds. Somewhere around there. So yeah, still pretty big. And then coming up on these hills to the left, I have been seeing some cheetahs lurking too. Well. Anyway, they are the fastest land mammal. They can reach speeds of 70 miles an hour. They can only hold that speed for about 20 seconds. And cheetahs are the only large cat that hunts during the day. A bridal table that exists in the road. So we're going to be hanging out here for just a second. Looks like they're kind of getting out of the way though, so it should, it should be okay. I was going to walk right down the right hand side of the truck, so just be careful, make sure you're keeping your hands inside the truck. They do like to peck, it does not feel good. Simba does mean lion in Swahili. Pumba does not mean warthog. Three pounds. That's equal to two dozen chicken eggs each. He'll eat lizards, 
fish, frogs, but even other smaller birds. But those oryxes, they can go about nine months and they are completely extinct in the wild. They are only found on reserves of this one now.